again, it's a nice and cool morning outside. Certainly feels like fall has just kind of settled in. Maybe you're lacing up your shoes, getting ready to go for a run or a walk, taking the kid for a stroll or the dog for a walk this morning. Well, you can take a few steps this week for heart health. In fact, there's a couple of activities and events going on where you can take those strides against the fight for heart disease and anything heart health related. So this morning on the patio, I'm joined with Alicia. She's from Western Health Advantage. We're going to talk about some of those heart healthy things that you can do, not only for cardiovascular and fitness wise, but we're talking more of the food element mm -hmm. and portions and things that are heart healthy that you may not even know about. Right. So what did you bring today for us to talk about? So I brought some heart healthy foods to mm -hmm. share with you and educate uh, on how these foods can actually help keep cardiovascular disease at bay. Okay. Um, so right here in front, we've got some of the monounsaturated fats. That's the healthy fat that helps to bring down the bad cholesterol, the LDL cholesterol. Okay. So things like avocado, almonds, or any kind of nuts, olive oil, these are going to be really good for um, helping to lower your cholesterol. Okay, now um, one thing I wonder is, you know, you look at an avocado and mm -hmm. it's enticing, but maybe you make it, you take it home and you make guacamole. Right. Is that still heart healthy for you? It's still heart healthy, absolutely, okay. but in moderation. So, right. you know, having a serving of an avocado is about a half of a, of a half, so that's a okay. serving. When we have guacamole, we might have a whole mound of it, so we want to be right. careful with how much we're eating. Right, and yeah. olive oil too. How much would you recommend if you're going to be making, you know, sauteing like onions a tablespoon, or chicken? You know, okay. not, not much. Don't not overdo much it. Don't overdo it. Okay. Right? Yeah. What else is heart healthy? You've um, got some so I have there. some salmon there. Um, yes, and I have some beans. So salmon is really good because of the omega-3 fatty acids. So that has an anti-clotting effect uh, mm -hmm. for our, for the blood and our cardiovascular system. Of course, uh, beans are really high in fiber. Anything high in fiber is going to help um, also with bringing down that cholesterol. Fruits and veggies, of course, eating by the colors is one of the best things that we can do for our health. Um, all the different colors are different nutrients or uh, minerals, mm -hmm. antioxidants that provide um, just great qualities to help keep us healthy. And Alicia, um, I noticed on the label there on the uh, can of black beans that does have the American Heart Association logo, what's the benefit if you purchase a food item like that? Yes, so um, the heart uh, check mark there that's on the front of these uh, cans tell you that it's lower in sodium, so it's okay. a better choice. And then also, um, when you purchase the canned items, you can rinse them too to get the rest of the sodium off because they use sodium to preserve the, the product. Fantastic. So, so absolutely look for that check mark. Okay. Um, so and then fruits wine and vegetables, too. I see wine. absolutely. So these are some of the, the, the awesome. things that do help our heart in moderation, of course. Um, so grapes, red grapes, uh, black grapes, and also raspberries have really great antioxidant properties okay. that help with um, protecting the artery walls. Fantastic. Um, grapes and wine have have resveratrol in them. Right, um, that's the that. antioxidant that helps to um, protect the heart as and well. And I know you guys are a big sponsor of the Heart Walk, which is mm -hmm. going to be taking place. There's one Thursday at the West Steps of the Capitol and also one on Saturday in Land Park. You can get the information on our website, kcra.com.